Hello, welcome to Watchtower Number 9 at California Medical Facility. This is a state prison in Vacaville. Live this morning at the California State Capitol. Broadcasting at Florin High School. Salinas Valley State Prison. At San Quentin State Prison. Avenal State Prison. California State Prison, Solano in Vacaville. This is the newsroom at San Quentin State Prison, the Northern California Women's Facility. At the Northern Selection Center's personal physical fitness test here in Sacramento, California. We are in between some beautiful hills over here and on the other side is the prison. We're here for this Facebook Live event with our guest, our special guest, Scott Kernan, Secretary of CDCR. Scott, thanks for joining us. Our primary goal of the department right now is to do something different with the offenders while they're with us so that we're making better citizens when they get out. I unabashedly uh, support the programs that are necessary to advance those guys. And there is a cost to it. There's a cost to state taxpayer, I understand. We have to be diligent and watch that. But it is um, a no-brainer for us to provide those kind of programs and try to rehabilitate and make a person better than when they got to us. very blessed that Special Olympics is law enforcement's charity of choice. Without the law enforcement, we cannot survive because they do a lot for us. This is live, man. The world is connected with us here inside of San Quentin. We have a lot of talented writers around here who cover a lot of the uh, recidivism reducing programs. A lot of people that are in level fours and level threes don't have the same opportunities that we have at San Quentin. So we try to include something of what we're doing here so that they can have hope and come down to a lower level. I like to write when I, when I feel um, my heart is in it. People who do this program, like these guys in back, have an 89% drop in in-prison infractions. We were always wearing a mask in the streets and now we're playing. We're putting on another mask that we don't really belong to. Whatever you guys do, you guys stay together. This is a rough neighborhood. As long as we stay together, we'll be fine. The most amazing thing about it is the togetherness, because that's what this work is to build an ensemble. Every week, our, our emotional intelligence is just at incredible levels now. Just this right here, which you see, um, you see people from different walks of life, different gangs, different you know backgrounds, ethnically, whatever, whatever the case may be. And um, just to see us working together, this is something you will not see on a prison yard. To see me hug a man from another gang, uh, 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 and to not worry about what he thinks about me or what he sees in me, that, that, that speaks volumes, you know? And this group did that. Their reward and their playtime basically is their work time. How do you train the dogs to be so attentive for their tug? Basically, we play fetch, and they get used to playing with that toy, and that's their toy, and they want it, and that's, we just continue that behavior through the whole, whole process. We're here today to talk about correctional education and what CDCR is doing to educate our inmate students and prepare them for good futures. Instructors actually come in and teach classes the same that, that somebody would receive on the outside. We do have our first question from a viewer. Are we hiring statewide? We have over 180 positions available. The great thing about CDCR is we have locations in every nook and cranny of the state. Thank you for being here today and for letting us crash your classroom. What you see going on here is you just see a bunch of students practicing their different learning processes. In order to better myself, I need to better my education. I'm actively learning how to write business letters because I just recently got found suitable for parole, so I'll be entering society very soon. The second annual Flame of Hope Run, which will benefit the Special Olympics of Northern California. It's cool to be a part of it. It's not about us. It's not about green, it's not about blue. It's about the Special Olympics people. I have a cousin who's 11 years old, and she has Down syndrome, and I've always wanted to do something for her, and I've never met her. Um, and it really does change lives. These are medals that a Special Olympic athlete, Tiffany, that's running today, she earned these. You're truly an inspiration. Thank you. 
We love being a part of this great big family. You'll notice you'll want to maintain a good pace throughout the whole course. You do get a good workout while you're at the academy. But you get paid. You get paid for that workout. And you get paid for working out. You want to be in good physical condition to be able to handle any situation that might present. And you just finished. You're still you're drinking your water, still breathing. Um, what did you think of the course? It's pretty good. I did under under my stick. I thought it's gonna be a little bit easier, yeah. but it's no joke. Yeah, I would run, uh, lift lift weights, and get your heart rate up as much as possible. Incorporate that into your life routine as well. The imprinting process of to get the dogs to associate their toy with the odor does not take long at all. It can be done in less than a day. Jaeger was donated to us, came from a rescue. Uh, he's a four year old black lab. Zeus was another dog that was donated to the department, no cost to the taxpayers. You know, basically, we're looking for good employees employees that come to work every day, they do their job, um, employees that have the ambition to go out and search. I've always been a search hound since I got in the department and having canines as a tool it makes our lives so much easier. We're here to introduce you to Camp Grace. It's a feeling of hope, uh, it's a reconnection with their children and I think that's when repurposing really begins inside. There's a lot of love and excitement in the room this morning so we're feeling really good. Well Dolores just called you an angel and I agree. Camp Grace is a good thing that should happen more often I think. We're about to hear from the Ear Hustle podcast. It's hard when you looking at things from a perpetrator's perspective as opposed to looking at things from a victim's perspective. What do you want the world to know about you? Life didn't stop after our sentences. We're not the mistakes that we made and that we humans in here and there's really guys in here that are really trying to change or have changed and are rehabilitated. I am a dungeon master extraordinaire. There's a hundred cards in this deck. I've got all kinds of terrible stuff happening here. And one of the things I, I love about them is how handled they are. You can tell that you really love them and use them all the time. Race and politics and all that stuff, like that stuff goes away when we get to the gaming table. Ask Jassy what he misses the most about Sweden. My son. Don't even make me start crying. Man, my son. I miss my son. Man, I'm dying to live, you know, dealing with these conditions. That's how we get it out. I'm dying to live, been locked down since I was 17. So much in the world that I ain't never seen. And it's a shame I ain't never even had a state ID. Whoa, whoa. Move wrong, it won't be too long before I'm too on. Flow too strong, who on the throne? Gonna have to move on. I knew all the obstacles that I overcame was all part of the plan. I done came a long way. So I see the steps I'm taking can come with a hectic land. And there's a handful of people that believe in me. And most of them even know that there's a greatness in this deep of me. Most won't even look into our world. Y'all ain't people me. You wonder why as a people, we ain't where we need to be.